for you guys out in the YouTube area and out in India, you know, uh, Joe and I, we played lots of rock and roll bars. Yeah. His band, my band. His band, my band. And uh, Dash Rick Rock. That's right. He was with Dash Rick Rock. Yeah, he sure was. And, you know, it's funny because you look back on that now and it seems so ancient ago. <laughs> I mean, it's like, man, I'm mean, alive. No, 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 when we played over here at Rockies, we played against, you know, you all played over here and I played over here, you know, right around the corner. So, Joe just mentioned, he said, would you ever think, how'd you put it, would you ever think that we'd be singing for the Lord? <laughs> I said, no. <laughs> no. I didn't think he would. <laughs> no. It's just like my nursing home ministry. If somebody would have told me, in the 80s when I was on the road in Wyoming, Anthony, in the 90s, you're going to start singing for old folks. I would have said, you are crazy. <laughs> no, I, was, uh, up in, uh, I could just see somebody up in Wyoming, you know, getting off a buffalo and coming over and telling me that. <clears throat> so, you know, it's funny the way God just leads you through these hurdles. So, don't give up on Jesus. Because Jesus had given up on you. Okay? Got a little story for you, and then we get this young lady up. How many of y'all have ever been crushed? How many of y'all have ever been crushed, hurt? Had your heart broken? How many of y'all have ever been had somebody just rude to you? Don't know you, but the rude. Well, let me tell you, let me tell you real quick that, you know, God, if He gets you to it, He's going to bring you through it. Yes, it is. Okay? So, here's a little story for you. You know, the most sacred oil in the Bible is virgin olive oil. How do they make virgin olive oil? Well, they have to crush the olives. So, the olives get crushed in order for you to have that fine virgin olive oil. You have to be crushed in order for you to be a great laborer for the kingdom. How about a diamond? You got a coat. Black coat. They have to put that coat in the hottest furnace you can ever imagine to burn that coal down to make a beautiful diamond. We get put through the fire, guys, because we come out like a beautiful diamond. How about the guy that makes the horseshoes? The blacksmith. And he takes that steel and he puts it in that hot fire and he bends that steel so it will fit that horse's hoof. Well, God takes us and bends us so we can fit His plan. Sometimes we don't want that to happen. <laughs> Sometimes we don't want that to happen. But so many folks, you know, Joe and I, we admit we play ball. We admit where we came from. I don't have a problem telling anybody. Yeah, we were around prostitutes, we were around drug addicts, we were around boozers, you name it, we were around. See, but God doesn't consult your past, determine your future. Did you hear me? God does not consult your past to determine your future. And that's that's the message I have today. You know, I have a little sheet up here that I picked up at my church. And I'll just tell you about God real quick, okay? I use this at the nursing home. God is like Bader Aspen. He works miracles. God is like Ford. He's got a better idea. That's how I have to God is like Coke. He's the real thing. God is like Hallmark cards. He cares enough to send his very best. God is like Tide. He gets the things out that others leave behind. God is like General Electric. He brings good things to life. 
God is like Sears. He has everything. God is like Elka Seltzer. Try him, you'll like him. God is like Scotch tape. You can't see him, but you know he's there. God is like Delta. He's ready when you are. God is like Allstate. You're in good hands with Him. God is like VO5 hairspray. He holds through the, all kinds of weather. God is like Dial Soap. Aren't you glad you have Him? Don't you wish everybody did? God is like the U.S. Post Office. Neither rain, nor snow, nor sleet, nor ice will keep him from his appointed destination. So just remember, folks, Jesus is alive and well. Don't give up on Jesus because he's not going to give up on you.